Hello everybody, welcome to part two of creating zip files in C Sharp. If you have not looked at the previous lecture, please click at the top right icon to see it right now. So today we're gonna to do two things. The first, we're gonna return a detailed result object once we complete our operation. And in step two, we will be showing a progress bar that will show the progress of our overall zipping operation. So watch till the very end and let's jump into the lecture. Okay, so I've written a simple zip file result class, which has a couple of parameters here. The first one is a success uh, variable. It says whether if our result is true or not. And then the message, if there's any errors in our process, we put this message here. Then finally, zip files will contain the list of zip files that we've generated. And also, uh, for this specific purpose, I've overridden the toString method, which will basically say the result and print out the list of files as an array. Okay, so now let's see how to use this class in our program. Let's go to our zip file service and look at our compress files. This is the method that we call to start the zipping process. And once it's complete, it returns an unenumerable string, which is the list of zip files. So here, instead of that, we're gonna return a zip file result. And here, instead of returning our archives, we're gonna return a new zip file result. Let's populate this object. So message, we'll leave it empty for now. Then success. So for success, we already have a variable, which is a Boolean that we track. And if ever there's an error, we set it to true. So success is gonna be the opposite of its error. And then finally, the zip files is gonna be the archives. Okay. so. Coming back to the message. So the only time we're gonna populate the message field is if there's an error. So let's uh, do that. So let's declare a string builder, string builder. And then every time there's an error, we are gonna append line e.message to our string builder object. And then finally, oh, let's uh, go down again right here sb.string. Okay, so this way we have a complete object. And then let's go back to our program. Let's come back. And once we call our method, we have our um, parameter right here, which will output the value from the to string method. All right, so let's uh, run our project and see if it works. Control F5, this is zipping. It's taken a while and there we have it. So this time it shows result and then the list of files. So it's generated three zip files and we have it. Okay, let's go and see where our zip files are. Let's bring up here. So we have our three zip files and that's awesome. So in order to give live progress updates about our zipping process, we have two objects here. The first one is a C-sharp delegate called zip file event handler. And it gives an event arc of type zip file event args, which I've declared right here. So this event args uh, class inherits from our default event args so that we can pass through our delegate. And it has three objects. The first one is percentage complete. This says how many percentage our process has completed. And also it gives a list of archives that are currently generated. And then finally, if there's any message or a status update we want to give in as a string, we will pass it through here. Okay, now let's see how to use this in our console application. So in our zip file service, let's come to the very top and add a zip file event handler and call it zip progress event. So when do we call or invoke this event? We do this every time, let's come back here. We do this every time we add an archive. So every time we add an archive to our zip, we call that event and give the current status. So let's see how to do that. So here, we're gonna write a method. Let's call it send progress. And it will take two variables. The first one is gonna be an integer and it's gonna be current file index. And the second one, we're gonna call it number of files. So let's write this function right here. 
uh, let's call it private void send progress integer current file index and integer number of files okay let's leave it as it is and then here coming back to our compress files method right now we have a for each method for us to get the current index let's convert this into a for loop so let's convert into a for loop for int okay and then let's delete this for count we're going to call a method then file path will be file paths dot get sorry element at i okay this way we have our file path i want to extract the file paths into a variable and call it number of files and then number of files okay and then the current file index is going to be i plus one okay so now we have our whole method which calls a send progress and in our send progress let's actually send the let's send the event so this dot zip progress event let's put a question mark so that we can avoid a null error and invoke the sender is going to be this it's going to be a new zip file and here we're going to give the archives as archives message as empty and the percentage complete is going to be let's write a small method sorry a small calculation current file index times 100 divided by number of files okay that looks good now next step let's see how to subscribe to our zip progress event in our main program okay so we're in our main program now now let's subscribe to our progress in this uh, class so for that i'm going to extract this initialization into a variable and let's call it the file service okay and then before we call the compress files i am going to write an event handler dot zip progress event it's going to be inline event and sender event args let's just open and close Okay, so here, all I'm going to do for now is console.write line and say progress is going to be, let's open and close, say curly braces, event args dot percentage complete, and let's put a percentage symbol. Okay, so all we're doing here is subscribing to the event and writing the percentage complete as a string. Okay, now let's uh, hit Control F5 and see if it works. Okay, there we go. We have our progress and it's beautifully working. Wonderful. So next step, we're going to do something fancy. Instead of writing our progress as a string, we're going to display a nice, beautiful progress bar. For that, I've already written a small method in our utils uh, class. So it's called show progress bar. It takes two uh, parameters. The first one is the progress and the second one is the total. It's, it's, it's a simple console graphic interface that I've written. You can take a look. The whole explanation for this is out of scope for this specific uh, project. So just uh, copy and paste it if you'd like. And then let's go back to our program. And instead of calling this, let's delete it. I'm going to call utils.showProgressBar. The progress is event args.percentage complete and the total percentage is 100. Okay, so now let's run the program and see if our progress bar works. Control F5. And there we go. Our progress bar is working beautifully and it's complete. That is awesome. Thank you so much for watching till the very end. Please like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Take care.